Hey, welcome everybody. This is Brent English, president of Robust Tools, and today I'm here in Sam Angelo's really well-equipped shop. And Sam's one of our favorite dealers, and he's going to do yet another YouTube video for you. So please enjoy. Now, if you remember my rule, go out in your shop and pick the best piece of wood you can find and turn that. Well, I have selected a nice burl. It's a cottonwood burl from California. And I'm going to maybe make a square bowl out of this. I may keep the, the uh, sides square. So let me chuck this up. I'm going to use a screw chuck and we'll get to turning. All right, now with any project you turn, there are decisions to make. One is chucking uh, the piece of wood up to begin with. And I'm going to use a screw chuck. This is something I just made. I was inspired by Richard Raffin, who has used something similar for many years. Here is my, my blank. It's going to be a little bowl, all right? And I've selected this face right here. This will be the top. I've got some uh, imperfections down here, and I'll try to turn those away. This will be where my tenon is, and I'm going to use uh, these shark jaws. That'll be a good size. The other decision I've got to make is whether I will turn this green or rough turn it and set it away in shavings. And I'm not sure at this point what I'm going to do. All right, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to face this off and mark where my tenon is going to be. Turn the lay speed up just a little bit. And lay speed up a little bit more. And I'm going to mark my my tenon right there. And of course, make sure that far leg doesn't touch at the same time or it'll come back at you. Alright, I'm going to use my little point tool here to establish my, my tenon. I'm going to establish a little center point right here in case I need to reverse chuck this later, which I probably will. All right. Now this is going to be pretty cool. I've got some imperfections here. I think we can make that work to our advantage. I'm going to leave this square. I'm going to make a square bowl. There's some really, really cool um, features on the edges here where it's dried. So this little piece of wood's probably a little bit dry. Now at some point I'm going to take some CA glue. Now at some point I'm going to take some CA glue and fortify these areas. I got a big bark inclusion there, but this is going to be pretty cool when I get done with it. I'm going to take a larger bowl gouge and work my way down and profile the bottom.
going to take some thin CA glue and just flood this surface right in here. And I may need to do this several times as I'm turning the bottom of this. And I'm going to just spray some activator on there. Alright, now I'm continuing to profile the bottom of my, my little bowl here, and I like this. I'm going to maybe make this into sort of a tulip shape, or, you know, let's just do a little bit more turning. Okay, it is time to reverse chuck this and I'll put it into my my uh, shark jaw chuck. Alright, now I've applied a little bit more super glue to the bottom of my bowl. And I'm going to put this into my shark jaws. Put a little bit of pressure right in the center. Now I'm a long way from my final profile, but I want to start working on the top here. And what I'm thinking is my bowl right in here is going to be maybe from here to here. Okay, and I'll just slope these wings down uh, to, to match the bottom profile. And I am wearing a face shield because I got some little bark inclusions and imperfections. I'm not sure what's going to happen with those. Now I've marked the approximate uh, diameter of my bowl right in here with my, my point tool. So I'm going to eventually match that up with the base so it kind of flows through there. Now I'm going to take a quarter inch bowl gouge with a traditional grind or a straight across grind and work on my bowl.
turn my speed up just a little bit more All right, now I'm going to clean the bottom of this up with a scraper. Now I've got some real fuzzy grain down here. I'll probably uh, fortify that with some more CA glue and then sand it. Now I'm going to work on the uh, the rim, which is going to be square. Okay, now you might hear my wife back over here turning on the other lathe, so I'll just talk louder. I'm going to take my 5 8 inch bowl gouge and work the profile of this area right here to kind of mate up with the bottom. I want to put a little detail right around the opening of my bowl and I'm not sure what I want to do but I'm getting this uh, to where I want it. I want to just take that down a little bit more. All right, now you can see in this camera, I've got some really, really uh, fuzzy grain in here. It's really not torn grain, it's just uh, on this burl where the grain changes direction. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a really, really sharp tool to correct that. So I'm starting to get my wings down here where I like them. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of keep going here and kind of blend that together. I like that. It's a little bit rustic. Um, I'll make some sort of detail here, and I've got to keep in mind that this grain is really going to be difficult to turn and get a smooth surface. All right, I brought you in a little closer. I'm going to make some final passes along this uh, detail right here. Alright, I've taken a negative rake scraper 
and I've cleaned up around here and I've really gotten a fairly good surface. I'm going to have to sand this and go in both directions. I think I'll be able to take care of that. I'm going to come from the underside and finish the profile. I like this right here. I just need to kind of blend that in from the bottom. Okay, here we go from here. Okay, I have got the top of my my little piece all sanded. I've got a little water on there to raise the grain and I'll sand it back just a little bit and put some finish on there. I'm going to work on the back of this or the bottom side a little bit and I'm down to the point where I'm just using a scraper and I'll do a little sanding but what I'm going to do is really work on this area right here when I reverse this piece. I'll show you a little bit of that. Um, I've got some Chroma Craft, uh, I would call it faux turquoise. It's not real turquoise. It's more just a color, an infill that you put in there. It's still a little bit rough, so I'll, I'll use my scraper to go over that. I'm turning about 800 RPM. Very gently. Alright, I think that's good. Now I'm going to leave that until I reverse it to do any sanding. I've got a little bit I need to fill in here. So next step, I'm going to reverse this and deal with the underside of my my uh, square wing bowl. I've got my my piece reversed. Let me show you how I have this fixed in here. And I'm a big believer in reverse chucking most everything. Boxes, bowls, hollow forms. So the top of that has a coat of shellac and a coat of oil that Sam Maloof mixture. I've got a, a drive here that is uh, attached to a faceplate and I've just profiled this area right in here to match the inside of my my bowl on the top. Bring my live center up and that's why that little indentation down there is very important. Okay, that needs to be established early on. I'm going to turn this on pretty slow. And that's good. That's running true. Now let me show you what I'm intending to do here. If I take this, take this ruler and put it across here, right in here is that level level with the wings. I think this is way too long right now, right in here. So I'm going to take, probably take that back to about right here. I don't want that sitting way, way up on a surface, tabletop or something. Well, I'll make sure everything is locked down. All right, I'm going to take a negative rake scraper and go over this surface. I'm still a little thick right in here. In fact, 
from about right here right in that area I'm going to reduce the diameter turn up my speed a little bit everything's running very true I am turning at oh maybe 750 Need a little bit more speed Now I'm going to start to reduce the diameter right here with a spindle gouge and work my way into this area. I just filled this with some more of that uh, turquoise color. So the last thing I'll do before I finish this piece is I'll leave this little nub on there in case I need to uh, put this back on the lathe and do any sanding or finishing. Turn my speed up just a little bit here. Alright, I like that. I can't really get in there with my, my spindle gouge, so I'm going to go back to my scraper and just clean this up in preparation for sanding. Now while I had this piece off the lathe, uh, I identified this area right here as being the thin part of this uh, bowl from the inside and I got yeah I think I'm in pretty good shape there I have a little bit more right here so I'm gonna sand this I like the bottom I'll part it off and show you what I end up with I'm gonna do a little bit of sanding on this finishing I'll do that off camera all right the underside of my piece is completed I've sanded it to about 400 grit I've got some more of that turquoise color added. I've got a coat of shellac and oil and the next step is to part that off and put the finishing touches on this piece.